What's going on everybody? I'm Slavin Torsky and welcome to the channel. Uh, today we're going to go over an accessory that I picked up for my Ruger 1022 magazines. Uh, these go for my Thompson Center 22 that I have. And uh, it makes it a little bit easier to load the mags, but uh, that's what it claims. I haven't tried this yet, so I'm going to try this live on a recording so I can show you how this thing works. And if it works, then I think it will be a great accessory for people to pick up to help load up those magazines because they do get kind of a pain in the butt and they will shred your thumbs. Now I'll do my little shameless plug. Uh, if you do like videos like this where it's firearms or uh, firearm accessories, things like that, you know, propane, propane accessories, but with firearms, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I try to have content coming out every other week or at least. Uh, I am trying to update it to be every week to have something coming out for you guys. So subscribe and you'll see everything new coming out. All right, so hop straight in. This is the Caldwell Mag Charger for Rotary 1022, or well, 22 magazines. So basically, 1022 magazines like that. Sorry about that shine. And I am sorry about the background. I have a fan on in here because it is very hot in this house. All right, so without further ado, this gives you an idea. The gear rotation auto-orientates the bullets, works for rotary magazines, etc. Uh, let's see, loads, blah blah, anything special on the box. It says it's the fastest one on the market, so we're going to put that to the test, so to speak. So I don't really have anything to compare it to, I just want to try it out. And if it works, I think everybody will like it. Alright, of course, everything's in a little plastic baggie. This is the item itself. See, it's this big, weird, clunky looking thing. There we go. I'm glad they put that on there. So for TCR 22 magazines, the first round must be loaded by hand before using this device. That must be for that bolt stop that they have on them. So that I like that they put that on there. Points right off the bat in my mind. All right, let's stick that back there. Here we have the user guide. So we're gonna follow this. You guys are gonna follow me along for the ride. Shows you all the pieces and parts. Hopper lid, how everything works, jam clearing port, yada yada. All right, so let me get rid of this piece of plastic because we don't need that. So we will start with just the plain old value pack. I haven't loaded these. I still have one of the magazines loaded a little bit from my TCR22 video. Here it is. I believe I only put five rounds, so we'll test it on that. I realized I'm putting everything off camera here, so let me, there we go. Makes it a little clearer for everybody to see what's going on here. And so you know today we're going to be using Arms Core 22LR bullets. These are 36 grain high velocity hollow points. Because why not? All right, first things first. You open up the hopper lid. So that's this guy right on top here. And it says that it holds only 22 LR, so it won't do 22 Magnum or shorts. And 100 rounds will easily fit into the hopper. So we're gonna test that. These are 50 round boxes. Now if you've never bought Arms Core 22 ammo before, you'll see there's a cool little thing in there. You can take the box apart you don't shred it like I tend to, which I'm shredding it already, but anyways, you can take the box apart and use it as a target. There we go. How cool is that? Kind of a neat little feature. I wish more companies would do that so you're not just wasting the cardboard. You can still use it. All right, so we're going to take those and dump them straight in. Now it says it can take 100, so we're going to do two boxes. 100 rounds, dumped in. All right, we'll close that hopper lid so we don't lose any. Now this thing should have five rounds in it right now, I believe. We'll put that off to the side for now, just because I'm not 100% if it's five rounds or not. All right, so once you put those in, this is where the actual magazine will get plugged in. Now to do this, you're gonna wanna put the magazine in with the little 
nub on that magazine near the top here. So let's show you up close. That's how it goes in, nice secure fit. This is the magazine catch. Let's see if you can put it in backwards. Nope, you cannot put it in backwards, so it only goes one way. Nice safety feature. All right. We'll give those a little wiggle because you're supposed to do that. All right, and then after those are in, close the lid, gently shake for everything to fall on that little track on there. Insert rotary magazine. We've done that. All right, so we're up to state five. Once the magazine is secured, rotate the handle clockwise in a rotation to load the cartridges into your magazine. Half a rotation loads one round. So clockwise. That's how it shows it on here. So that must be been one, two, three, four, five, six. Nope. There we go. So we weren't loading anything. So that's how you can tell. Before I did that, those were way down here. It wasn't actually loading anything. Oh, well, I guess I got one in there. Let's see, yep, one total. So, <laughs> I already lost one. All right, so we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There should be ten rounds in there now. Now, should there, can we test this? and make sure there are actually 10 rounds in there. All right, so I pulled that one out. One, two, three, four, five. So we got five rounds in there. All right, so that means we're gonna have to practice a little more with this. Let's try that again. Let's give it a good shake. Make sure all the rounds are loaded. Plug this back in. Try it again. All right, so we'll watch the little indicator here and see if these move at all. Uh, we might have an issue. It's not working. And I don't want to force it. So let's drop the magazine out. There is our issue. We had a clog. All right, so those are out of there. Let's try this again. I'm gonna put this up to my own ignorance as of right now, because I don't know how this thing works. All right, let's try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Now it's just spinning. All right, let's make sure we got ten in there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we had nine in there. Not quite ten. So we're getting a little better at this. We'll try it again. We'll put these back inside. All right, give it a shake. Make sure everything gets onto the little track in there. And you can see the track right here. Those were all the rounds drop right in. Just like that. Making it really dirty in there already. All right, so let's try it again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, and it's not turning. Now you see here, we have a dent. I don't like that. That might be an issue with this. So, one, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so it did load ten that time, but it also dented that last one. So I'm wondering if this is still me not being able to use this correctly or what. So let's at least look in here. See how that little piston or gear in there works? So let's try to get these to load back in correctly. I guess it only loads when you have a magazine in. All right, we'll try it again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're just spinning. Nine, ten. All right, looks like we are done at 10, and that sucker fired out of there. All right, so this thing is a little rough. That's what I'm noticing. You'll have some jams. Yeah, here we go. You can see right there how that little bullet is not wanting to load correctly. So let's see if I can get that one to unjam. Again, I don't know if this is me or if this is the actual unit itself. So far, it's kind of seeming like a bit of a pain in the ass. And I don't like that it's denting the shells. That's a little rough to me. Alright, let me get this bullet out of here. Get it to load correctly. Come on, you. In case you're wondering what I'm doing, I had to take out a knife. There we go. I had to use my little switchblade to get it out of there. All right, so, so far, I don't know how I feel about this. Especially with it denting the mags, or the bullets. So, let's try another one. Get this thing on. Like I said, I think it might just be me. Maybe not. It's supposed to really, it has good reviews, so I will always chalk something up to me just not knowing how to use it before I really trash on something. So I tend to take a little longer sometimes than some people to learn things. And I'm loading up the shells into that little track off camera just to kind of get them loaded. Alright, so the track is loaded, shells are back in there, that gets really dirty really quick, doesn't it? Alright, so we put in a new magazine, okay, so that seems to be part of the issue, is when you take a mag out, it doesn't seem to like that very much. Alright, so that's how it looks when you have something loaded, and when it, you pull the gear, it pushes it in like that. So let's get that loaded up. All right, that must have been one. Let's double check. That was one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I feel like that one dented it. Nope, not quite. Eight. Didn't like that. Yep, double fed. And we have a jam again. So far, I'm not liking this. It jams very easily. It's actually making it more difficult to load the shells than if we had just loaded them by hand. I feel like by now I could have had these magazines loaded. We'll keep trying though. There's nine, ten. 
imagine it'll just stop loading after a while. This thing was kind of rough. All right, let's see what we have in terms of this. All right, so that's not working. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so it did load up ten. There's ten. All right, let's try this again. Breaking it in, getting a feel for it. Could very much be me. Alright. So I'll try this again. That was one, two, three, four, five, we're not moving. You see the little shell in there. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, and it stopped loading. And of course we had the shell that didn't want to go in. All right, so let's try topping off the final mag here. This one's not wanting to load, so I'm assuming it's full. I don't like that every time you pull out a magazine, you drop a shell out of it. That's kind of wasteful. All right, let's load all these back into it. Waste not, want not. Alright, now it says that there is a clutch override mechanism, and if you try to load an additional cartridge into an already full magazine, the clutch activate will the clutch mechanism will activate, and the handle will skip this to prevent any issues. Okay, so these ones were kind of rough to load. Let's try bigger magazines. We'll see how that works. Alright, so we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. Okay, so we are right back. We're going to try loading the 25 round magazines. So, these should all only be able to go in one way. So let's test that. It pushes it out that way, so it actually locks it in that way. Alright, so let's Shake this around a bit, get all the shells loaded where they need to get loaded. And now we'll try this. Alright. That should be one, two, three. And if you look in the little port here, you can actually watch them load. Four. It's not floating, there it goes. Five, six, see it feels like you're loading it, even though you're not. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. See, I'm not loading it there, even though I'm counting that. There's nothing actually loading, so more likely than not, you're not going to get a full magazine with this speed loader. Alright, we're getting a smooth rhythm now. We're back to it skipping. 
I'm not actually loading the shells. There we go, that one loaded. Seems like the best way to do it is to watch that little hole and make sure that they're loading in. Like right there, I hit a tough spot. So I imagine the magazine must be loaded. Again, it dent the casing. So far, I'm not very happy with this thing. It's kind of a pain in the ass to use. You don't know for sure. Look, it just shot a shell out the side. It just shot another shell out the side. As you can see, I'm having a lot of problems with this thing. And now I can tell things have just side fed again. Honestly, I am not a fan of this. I think this thing is a pain in the ass to use. I had other magazines loaded up ready to fill this thing up and load up the magazines, but you aren't sure if you've actually loaded the magazine fully. It dents the shells. You'd have to keep shaking it to get these to fall into the little tray. They don't load. They don't fall into the tray correctly. I'm not happy with this. I don't like it, and I don't like that it damages the ammunition on the simple fact of loading it into the firearm. I didn't even make it through all the magazines I wanted to load today, and I'm already fed up with this thing. So I would not suggest the Caldwell mag charger for rotary magazines. I would not suggest this. I had high hopes, but as you can see, the bullets are constantly falling out. It damages the bullets, like here. It damages them before you even get them in. That could cause misfeeds, issues with the firearm when you're shooting it. I am not happy with this, and I will be returning it or selling it to someone who might have better luck with it. So yeah, this is probably one of my first actually big negative reviews I've had. Most of the time I can find saving graces about things. I gave it uh, four magazines, five magazines, worth of attempts and honestly I think they need to uh, work on the design to get this to work a little bit better because right now it doesn't work for me at all I have no interest in keeping this I will load by hand using my own thumb from now on if I can't keep track of what shells are going into the firearm there's kind of no point if it damages the shells that's even worse so not a fan do not like it would not approve and would not suggest for anyone else to buy this. I think they need to work on the design and try to make it a little better. But uh, that's it for today. I'm very disappointed. I'm sorry to give you guys a bad review, but I want to be honest. And this is something that I would not suggest for anyone to purchase. Uh, but again, if you guys do like reviews like this, you like seeing little accessories, how they work and everything, subscribe to the channel. We'll we will always give you an honest opinion on these. I try to look positively on everything, but again, as you see here, if I have a negative opinion, I will tell you. And I have a very negative opinion on this one. So that's it for now. If you did find this informational, give me a like, all that good stuff. And I hope you guys have a great one. Stay safe. And we'll see you again in the next video. Do not buy this. Later, guys.